everybody it's diane today is monday as i'm filming this so it is flea market day at the stockyards the outdoor flea market that i gave you a glimpse of last week so let me show you what i bought i didn't bring home a ton but i'm very excited to go through this pile because i bought the whole stack um, for one set price and i didn't even finish looking through it they all look they're all vintage so we're going to save those for last but I did find some other fun things. This is not going to be for junk journaling. I looked at it because I love the bright colors and it is very nicely made. It's got Mary Anglebright fabric on it. It's perfect for springtime. Um, there's a little mark there. I don't know if it's a stain and if it is, I don't really care. There's another here. But um, when I saw the price, it was a dollar. So I had to get it. So this is just gonna go on my table to brighten up the space. This, I loved the flowers on this apron. And it does have discoloration and stains because it was a used apron. But look at those flowers. I could cut them out. That I could do all kinds of things with these little designs. I don't think I would make a journal cover because I think the stains take up too much space. Look at that. Oh, so it goes, this is the front because the pocket's in the front. So it fastens in the back. Looks like the fastener's gone. I think somebody made this. Nope, it's got a tag in it. But I loved that. So I brought it home. I'll cut it up. And the lady with the fabrics was back. Um, sometimes she charges a dollar or more, two or, th two or three dollars. I thought she would charge three for this because it's a big hunk. There's a lot here. Um, but she didn't seem to care today. I started to show her and she just waved her hand and said three bucks. So I got all of this for three dollars. Some of them are some uh, feed sack scraps. Those are all feed tax scraps. And I think this one too. Then I got this. At first I thought it was suits of cards, but it's not. It's just a really cute retro looking design. I love it. It's just a small piece. But I could do stuff with that. And this is also retro. It's not something I would normally go for, but it caught my eye. And I thought that could be fun for a mid-century journal. I love polka dots, so I got two and they're both pink. This one is a pink background with like a bubblegum pink with white dots. And this one is a cream background with pink dots. And this is a large piece. You can feel by the weight of it. It opens up a couple more times. It's a very nice fabric. David Textiles, never heard of that, but you can tell by touching it that it's good quality. I see a pin in here. It's a long pin. This one looks vintage and it's so pretty and delicate looking. And there's quite a bit there. This is doubled. And then another retro one. It's it's new, new fabric. It's from Waverly. It's called Inspirations Screen Print. But it has a retro design and I love the colors. And Waverly is a good fabric. Now the books. I got this one from the same lady for a dollar. Hansel and Gretel. This will make a really fun journal. It reminded me the size and the style of the type of book it is. It reminded me right, reminded me of my Romney Gray, um, no Romney Gay. Was it nursery rhyme book that I made for myself? So I, that's why I wanted to get this. So this is the opera, the story of Humperdinck's opera. Engelbert Humperdinck. So he was a famous operettist before the pop singer, Engelbert Humperdinck. 
Don't know if you knew that. So it's got nice pages and they're in, oh look, the strawberry. Um, they're in good shape, but I got it for the cover. And this one I got for the pages. It's finger plays. But I want to cut out these little children. I love um, the style of art. 1966, Alice Schlesinger did the art. But I could use the pages as pages in a book or to cut the images out and use them in little the little tuck spots that I make that Carla Frizzell started. These illustrations are so cute. This one got colored on. Oops, he's grabbing the banana. All right, now, lastly, last thing I got was this stack of 17 little golden books, and they're all vintage, so let's see what we have. The Little Golden Book of Words, 1948. So I'm going to have to thin out my um, golden books again, because I'm going to want to keep a lot of these. Little Mommy, this one looks like um, newer than the others. I love her. 1967. It's older than I thought. Second printing, 1968. Oh, let me see this one. It's missing the gold. Well, no, it's got that. It's just not shiny. This is edition C. This is in really good shape for 19... Yeah, 1960... What did I say? Eight? This was on top of the stack, so I had to get this. So I was selecting, I was I had started to go through the pile and I was pick, picking out all the books that I got to. I, I only got to like three or four and then I saw this one with no cover and I was gonna ask if he would just throw it in because I wanted the swan picture. Um, but he saw me looking at the pile and he said, that's the only one with no cover and um, I asked him how much he was asking for the books, and he said, I'll take 15 for all of them. So I just said, sold. This one is 1950. I don't know if it's a reprint after that. It's letter N, so it might not be quite that old. But you know the Cinderella story. Um, this one, I don't even know. I think this is called Birds. But it's one of the real thick ones. It has more pages than the newer books. Again, beautiful illustrations. And it's Eloise Wilkin. My Kitten also looks like Eloise Wilkin. 25 cents. It's got water stains up here. Nineteen fifty three. Ah, I've never seen this book, I don't think. <laughs> Aww. She's doing everything her kitty does. That's so sweet. Noises and Mr. Fliberty Jib got damage at the bottom, but I would cut that off anyway. That one says C. That one doesn't have a letter. Nineteen forty seven. This is A but it's damaged, it's not worth much.
Come Play House. There's lots of Eloise Wilk in here because I think this one was too. Yep. Come Play House. This is so cute. I've seen this, but I don't think I've ever had it. This is letter E. this down and then I can remember to keep the books in between there. I've never seen this one. Ooh, I'm excited about the one that's on top there. Linda and her little sister. 1954. Letter A. Um, I don't I don't know. It's colored on and the corners are soft. So I don't know how the value goes on these, but this one is definitely in used condition. It's still good, definitely good, but used. Now I said I've never seen this book, but I these pictures look familiar. I wonder if we had this when I was young, but I don't remember that cover. Sometimes they change the covers. 1954, so that was before I was born. All right, look at this one. I bet the paper dolls aren't in it. But, oh my gosh, there's another good one over here. <laughs> oh, this is an awesome stack of books. The Little Golden Paper Dolls. Yeah, the paper dolls are gone. 1951. So, all the paper doll pages are cut out and I don't see a letter. I just love that I have this book. This would make a wonderful journal cover. Usually if you find the books that had interactive things, those things are usually gone. But that's great. I love the cover. Look at this one. Mary Poppins, A Jolly Holiday. It shows some wear on the front. Nineteen sixty-two. Oh, that's the original stories. This one is nineteen sixty-four. Those were the. It said nineteen thirty-four for the beginning, and I was like, no, because this movie didn't come out till the sixties. That's the original Mary Poppins stories. So this particular book is copyrighted nineteen sixty-four. Letter C. Winnie the Pooh, The Honey Tree. It says 1965, could be, but it's in really good shape. Ooh, look at this one, The Paper Doll Wedding. I've never seen that either. Again, paper dolls are gone. 1954. That looks really good for 1954. It does have a water stain on the back. So they probably, the little girl probably cut out her paper dolls and then didn't touch the book again. Oh, how pretty. So there's a slit. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. There's a slit here. So you can insert the flower girl into the picture. And I saw a slit. on the cake. I don't think the bride and groom are here. The cake topper, I don't think that's here. Wow. Well, we've got a flower girl. She has a couple outfits and there's, maybe that's the bride. No, because the bride is blonde. But there's no boy doll, just some clothes. Well, that's fun. And these are in good shape, these pieces. 
That's awesome. So when I make a journal with this book, I will include these dolls with it. Here's the Golden Book Birds, but it's a newer version, 1981. So I can go through and see, is it the same? Is that what this book was? Maybe not. Let's see if we can see some of these pages. Yep, is that it? Yeah. So I can go through and see which pages are in this that aren't in this. The swans, for one. Oh my goodness. This I think this is the version of the Child's Garden of Verses that I had. I've only seen the pink one since I started doing junk journals. But seeing this, it really evokes a memory. 1962. Yes, I think that's the book we had. My Teddy Bear. There's so many Eloise Wilkin books here, and I've never seen this one. This is really fun. 1953, letter A, and this is in good shape. I won't be able to cut this one up. Fix it, please. Oh, her Raggedy Ann doll lost its leg. This was given to someone in 1949. 1947 is the copyright. Oh, look at this. Have you seen this book before? She has a lot of things that she needs fixed. Button popped off her trousers. Jimmy broke a plate. The wheel came off the wagon. So many things that need fixing. This is letter D. <laughs> it's adorable. And it's one with, a, with more pages in it. And lastly, another Eloise Wilkin, Busy Timmy. I've never seen it with this cover. Nineteen forty eight. Toddlers are always so busy until they crash and the parents heave a sigh of relief. Such cute illustrations. Well, that was my find, my great find of golden books. Let's see how many are Eloise Wilkin. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think this is. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten out of 17 books are illustrated by Eloise Wilkin. What was your favorite find of my uh, flea market haul today? And you can even include this if you want to, even though it's not for junk journals. I had fun and um, I'm hoping to get some work done on a, on a new journal today. So I'll see you in the next video. Have a creative day. Bye.